I'll do a quick review of the plans just to give you an idea what we're what we're proposing with the existing building, and then we'll drop back and we'll talk about the pieces of it as far as the budget and if there's if there's questions there, <coughs> uh, and ask questions anytime in the process. Start with the what I call the main level, uh, where the existing circulation desk is now, and and, and really what. Um, what is happening here, and, and I think you'll agree with this, this opens us up greatly. We, we've taken and we've, we've, we're taking the lower doors off the stairs and making the lower area yes, part sir. of the landing. In the upper area, we need doors because it's um, a fire stairwell. So it's fire separation. So we're, there's a special fire glass that we're getting. So this really opens us up likewise. We're opening the center area up with existing circulation desk is now in the center and moving it back. So we got to, when you come in, it's not quite so congested looking. Uh, new circulation desk in the back and then the administrative area, circulation and cataloging there. And then in, in the current planning, we have the popular materials and the children's area on the main level, um, in which basically about doubles in, in size and where it was. Um, and I guess in reference to the children's area, and when you look at that when we go to the lower level, there's a space there that is, is planned for uh, meetings with the children, like a children's hour, so forth. So as you meeting, we'll look at that. On the second floor, um, so you this might, is... You might emphasize that there's a restroom on that floor. Okay. Good point. Good point. We have added restrooms, and there'd be, there's one added here, which is a single BF is barrier-free, unisex-type toilet. So I, on, on, this, on this floor, and on the second floor, we've added two, which is way beyond what is required by code. Also, keeping in mind that we're, we're the, the concern you heard about lower level bathrooms, we're not making the most open to the public for library use. All right, so that area is really going to be limited to to staff or escorted when the children are down there, or a night meeting where the public may want the meeting, and then it would be there. But it's not during library hours because that's created some difficulties for control. Uh, so, back to the third floor. Um, here's the elevator on the one side. You see it. There's an existing stairwell here. We're taking the long area, which is called the Michigan Room, and we're putting a large bank of computers here um, in the center, moving the adult nonfiction, teen area. There's a new break room, staff break room here, two very free toilets, a storage area, and a new service area, circulation desk area here for two, two people. Uh, then the, this would be the west side, becomes the fiction, uh, adult fiction area. <clears throat> we have the Rotary Literacy Room over here, which uh, um, is changed slightly in size, but it's pretty much where it was, uh, and hopefully I, I think we can put it back too so it looks pretty much the same. Um, lower level, um, so this is the, here's the existing bathroom group and the stairs coming down. We've taken this room here, which is currently being used for storage, and we've turned it into a meeting room. So that'll be multi-purpose, um, children's story hour, evening meetings for adults, uh, so it's a, but it's a space that is, let's say, secured off from the rest of the two floors, uh, unless there are people are planned to be there, intended to be there. Um, and so we'll have some special controls on the elevator to do that. So somebody can't come in and just go to the lower level and, and, and you know. So we have down here also uh, the computer control room, the IT room that we're putting down here, uh, space for the, the friends of the library, and this in this space is already here is storage. All right, so that is a new chair storage. That's one alternative. Now that's in your, you know, we'll talk about that. That's in your, that's the in the in, in the budget of a million dollars. Here's a plan that that takes us out of that budget, but also um, in, in the process coming through this, we realize that this is, is, is a voting precinct and is hoped to be a voting precinct for, for two precincts. Uh, and so the space isn't there. And so the, it was, we looked at how can we create, take this space, and if you've been in the basement, you understand this space is uh, six foot two ceilings. Uh, it's up a whole series of steps. And so it's very, uh, it's a, not a 
really a half of the space in its current form uh, for, for that. So we looked at lowering the floor down to where we can utilize, then use this as far as this would make the meeting room in this whole area serve as a, uh, for the voting area. And it certainly could have additional functions to be used by the, uh, by the uh, library when it's not uh, being used for a voting. Uh, uh, we've added a new stair out at the back to accommodate the voting. And as you will see in the second page, that's a, that's a hundred and, I think it was one hundred and fifty two thousand dollar item. So it's a big item and it's out of the budget. Um, Site-wise, we did, you know, the, the base plan calls for very little. I mean, we, there's a parking lot. It's an option item, so it's an extra cost. Um, we, we did a little work at the entry over here that allows for the, um, the book drop and uh, some of the functions on the entry here. But other than that, it's pretty well not changed. We have did some major work outside, none of, of which you'll see. Uh, we have a severe water problem at there, and we've and now uh, investigated to realize what it was. The basement walls are the old Michigan basement, stone mortar around them, and, and the water's going through them. We actually ate it down and realizing that's, that's probably our problem. Heavy, heavy clay soil, so the water doesn't go anywhere except where there's holes to go in. So that's our problem. So we're, we're proposing to excavate entirely, mostly around the building, as far as we can get, uh, and, and go down and, and, one, clean off the walls, parge them, cover them with a smoother mortar, waterproof them, and then also put a drainage system on the outside so that'll drain away. So I think between those two things we can eliminate the, the water issues that, uh, that we have. Um, and that's the primary work that's done on the outside. Of the building, it's, of the elevation itself, um, it's proposed to change out the some of the windows basically on the on the east and the uh, part of the south side and a few on the on the north side uh, back to similar in style to what they were obviously it will be a much more energy efficient uh, window uh, the budget does not call for uh, I think there's six windows that we haven't got in the initial budget and and that shows up on the options and we can talk briefly about them the main entry facing east we put we put a little canopy addition here and a little, I mean a little, three-foot addition on, which allows us to do uh, an enclosed uh, book drop area and cart space uh, for that. Proposing maybe a new sign new sign here that could be, I use the word electronic, and sometimes that draws different, uh, but some sort of a sign that could identify what's going on in the library uh, so somebody could pull up the curb. There's one here that's up higher now, not electronic, it's you go out and change the letters and then so forth. Um, and this affects the entry, changing the steps slightly in some of the planning area. So that's that's in a, I guess, in a quick overview of what's happening with, with the floor planning. And um, I should say, you know, we, we, the, the building committee and the committee of the whole and the library board, everybody's had comments and input, and that, that's been it's been it's really been a, a good group. Um, this isn't, you know, this isn't any. This wasn't a, a plan that's uh, any one person's plan. This was developed, and I'm, I'm, I like that, and that we, I think we're unified. In, you know, it probably doesn't meet everybody's ideas perfectly, but I think we're all in agreement. And we can all support it, and, and I think that's that's important. The library board and the library renovation team have worked very hard to make this uh, something that we can all support and that we can do fundraising for. There are a lot of items that we would like to add, uh, but with the one million dollar limit, we're not going to be able to do that. Um, when he, when Mr. Burns was talking about going around the outside and doing waterproofing, there's one corner, the northwest corner, that we're not. It's not in the plan because it doesn't fit in the budget. I guess. I would like to ask if we could raise it just a shade so that we could, the waterproofing could go all the way around the building instead of most of the building. And could you show them which corner is not, you know, that corner is not going to be waterproofed. And I, my personal feeling is that if we're going to do it, we might as well do the whole thing while we're digging it up. But it does take us over the budget, so I think that's, that's a concern. Um, the parking lot, 
uh, just doesn't fit in the budget this time, but maybe that's something we can do in a few years because we do know that the community has expressed some interest in having more parking there. Uh, I think the way the, the uh, gentleman who just did the library design, I think the way he's arranged it, I think most of us are, are comfortable with that, that rearranging it, putting the computers um, where we can have a staff member to be available to help people with computers and make sure that there aren't any concerns that uh, more room for the computers, having the children's uh, area a little larger so that we can we can make that make more books and more things available. Having an, an up to date you know things that go in and out very quickly. Having that big room set up that way, and then more space so you have an open area in there. Um, when you first come in so you feel like you can get two things. So I think on the whole, the, the design works very well with the building that we have. 